there might be a lot of background noise in this. Question one, you're dealing with your opinions. So there's no right or wrong, it should just be logical. For question two, you're looking at quantitative data. So what makes sense numerically? Question three, we're gonna test out this doubling theory. So remember double means to multiply by two. So if I'm gonna multiply each year by two, if I start with the number one, one times two is two, then I start with the number two, two times two is four, so forth, four times two is eight, I'm going to end up with 32 in 1955. Question four asks us to kind of keep going. So let's look back at question three, see if we can find a pattern. Why is it telling us to multiply two ten times? Well, four is two times two. Eight is two times two times two. 16 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, which if we remember powers, we can use an exponent. So there's 4 twos, 2 to the 4th, that's 16. And then 32 would be 5 twos, so 2 to the 5th. So then for number 4, we can use that pattern and do 2 to the 10th. So that means there's a 10 in the power of the exponent. So that'll give me 1,024. For number five, we're gonna keep going. So we'll start with the 1024 we just found. But now we have to round using words. So we're gonna have to remember our place value. This will be 1000 because the zero, right, it's less than five, I round down. And once you fill in the rest of the table, you're gonna get a really big number in 1995 and you realize that's even more than population. So no. This has been Dr. Menchaca and I've given you some tips for Lesson 1.1. 1